I think our defense got a little better. Uh, we, we grabbed some 50-50 balls, and, and obviously we made some, some nice plays offensively. Matt got downhill off a couple middle ball screens. NJ finished. And, um, and then our press, I think, gave us a little bit of, of, of energy as well. So um, just, just you know, picked up our urgency a little bit and our toughness. Just a weird game. Alston out, Chance playing through foul trouble most of the game, just to see those guys able to turn it on there. Um, and when they when they were taken out of their rhythm at some points, just what you see from those guys able to do that? Yeah, I would agree. Uh, I think it was. I, I, I just felt like we didn't have a lot of rhythm because when you lose Austin, the guy's averaging almost twenty a game. That's a that's a big loss for us. And then you lose Chance. Uh, from an offensive standpoint, we're out of rhythm. We, we could have had a bigger cushion if we grabbed the ball. We, we did not grab the ball very, very well tonight. But um, I just saw guys try to do some things that, that, that we probably shouldn't try to do. But, you know, they're just trying to figure it out. And we don't have probably our two, two better offensive players. Um, but we, we kind of weathered the storm. It's like that sometimes. What have you seen from Matt the last couple of games? It seems like he's back to where he was earlier this season. Uh, last game, he, I thought he was really good. He, he, he did have some turnovers late, but uh, and then tonight, I, I, I don't know if he started off great tonight, but he, but he did finish well. Um, you know, I think Matt's, Matt's heart's in the right place. Um, he's played a lot of games. He's played a lot of games this time of year. Um, I just feel like his heart's in the right place, and that helps him be a better player. Um, and if we can just get some consistency amongst our rotation, I think that he will continue to settle in and, and do what we need him to do. Um, but but tonight, I feel like down the stretch, if, if Matt Lee doesn't put that ball in the basket, we, we don't win that game. Coach, Matt talked about how for him kind of regaining his former form, it was about kind of getting out of his own head and like getting that confidence yeah. back. You played the game, you coached the game. I mean. Did you notice something in that slump stretch for him where you're just like, I don't see the same fire? Or is it just that's basketball and sometimes you go through holes? I mean, sometimes you go through holes. I mean, I've been hard on him, you know, and, and um, maybe maybe that took him some time to, to get through and adjust to. Uh, but, but I've been hard on him because, you know, I want what's best for him. Uh, but um, I think he understands, you know, what it takes. And, and, and he's playing a lot better right now, which – for us, is a really important time for him to be playing better. But um, yeah, so going through just a normal basketball slump, and then you know, coach riding you pretty hard, um, and and even not playing them. I mean, that's hard. I mean, a fourth or fifth year guy, you know, basically getting benched. That's that's not easy for for anybody, let alone someone that's that's been a part of some some big time games. Uh, for you guys to win this game today, right? Kind of the ebb and flow of it, snapping a losing streak. This team is kind of funky this year, but again, resilient, right? This team is still resilient. Why does this team prove that sometimes when you think they're down, they kind of come back and say, hey, we're still fighting. We're not giving up. Yeah, we, we, we do have character. Um, you know, we're, we we got talent. Um, we, we, don't, we don't ever stop playing. Um, you know, we had a stretch there midway through the year where we, we had some, some lackluster effort games, halves. Um, but we, we got some really good kids, and, and uh, they, they typically try to do what you ask them to do. And, um, you know, tonight was just I mean, no different than, than some of our better wins. I mean, we've been down double digits in our best wins. So um, ideally we would like to, to get a good lead and keep a lead, but, but we'll keep working towards that. About the sickness of this team, just uh, we see Austin sitting there. Um, and I don't know what, not doctor. I don't know. I don't know what's being told to you, but see, but having these guys all around each other throughout all this, when it's been Tyler one day, it's been Donnie sometimes. Just how how's that work? I'm sure trainers approve everything as well. Yeah, you can't worry about that. I mean, we 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 can't worry about who's sick and who's not sick. We we can't we tell people to do this and do that. No, I mean, if you can get out of bed, you need to show up. Um, any of these guys can get sick at any moment. Any of these guys can get hurt in practice at any. You can't can't worry about those things. Those, those things. Our team is is uh, good enough to where we we don't have to have everybody that's on the roster to win a game. We just have to do it different ways. Right now, uh, our team is struggling winning games where our toughness level has to rise. So I'm not going to keep a guy away. We we got to have practice. And we, we got to try to keep our group together as, as best possible. Now, I'm not going to play a guy who can't do the things that we need right now. And, and so, but 
Um, if you can't get out of bed and you have a fever, yes, we keep you away. If you don't have a fever, you, you got to show up to work. You got to, you got to get in here. So, so why is Austin there? Because he's just so physically fatigued. Yeah. He can't, you know, he can't get up and down more than what he hasn't practiced in forever. Last game we played him, we shouldn't have probably played him. Uh, he was, he was just, I mean, he's just laboring up and down the floor. We, and we shouldn't have played, and it hurt us. I mean, it really hurt us. He's out there trying to play. If he can't, and, and Austin's first day of the sickness was a week ago today, and his has just lingered all week. So that's why he could play last week pretty good. It, it just started to come. He just started feeling the chills and the aches. Well, then that, that kind of goes throughout the week. So um, that's just kind of how it goes. Some people, they don't have the same sickness, I guess. I don't know. But, but um, some people can shake it, and some people just can't. Yeah. Chance is a plus 21 today yeah. when he's able to keep them on the floor. Yeah. When, when Chance is playing the way Chance is – like Chance is, is really, really bounced back. I mean, Matt Lee and Chance have really bounced back. And um, when Chance plays like this, he's as good as anybody. And uh, he, was, he was hooked up. His mind was right. He was rebounding. He was defending. He was getting up and down the floor. He was shot ready, you know. Um, it's a long year, man. And, and um, you know, they're, they're kids, whatever. They, they go ups and downs. But right now, Chance is on an up. And when he's up, when Matt's up, um, our thing is we need to get some other guys up at the same time, right? We just need our team to be up at the same time. But uh, those guys are as good as, good as anybody. Yeah. You talked about the defensive yeah. stops, right? Down the end, you're down 10. And you guys shutting off, I think, 12 straight possessions. Yeah. How big was that? Well, it won us the game. So, so how big you think? <laughs> I mean, it was huge. Um, it, it's grabbing the ball. Like, like, I love coming here and speaking to you guys. I do, whether you believe it or not. And I'm never upset with you guys. But I can come here after every Valley game and say, who won the 50-50 balls? Who made their layups and free throws? And who got back in transition to not give up easy baskets? Early in the game, we were not grabbing the ball. That's all we weren't doing. Just, just grab the ball. And that kind of carried on throughout the game tonight. They were getting offensive rebounds left and right. And, and you know, a lot of that has to do with where our guys are mentally. So if, if you're frustrated about, like, for example, Cesar, Donnie, and NJ playing in the same lineup tonight for the first time in a long time. Well, somebody may be worried about what we're doing offensively, or somebody may be worried about this matchup or how we're doing this, and, and they're not focused on grabbing the ball, you know? So uh, when, when we kind of dialed in in desperation down the stretch, we, we were good. And so that, that's what we'll, you know, that's, that's, that's what we're trying to build off of from this game. But it was, it was big. And, and so uh, that, that really helped us. You talked about, you've said in the past, just that back end of February, trying to get into early March and, start, and playing your best basketball hasn't been a thing um, that this, this program's done a good job at over the last few week, you know, last few years. Just what's it, you're getting into that latter, latter part now. Just what is it going to take? What do you want to see these guys do that's going to be a little bit different to where you guys can go on some run? Yeah, it's not a it's not a magic answer. It's not a potion. We got to try to go one and zero that day. And how you do that in the valley is you're tougher than the other team. That's it. We we just got to be tougher than the other team. So there's, you know, there's there's no magic formula. We got to be tougher. We got to be tougher. And like right now, we really got to take a jump in our toughness. And, and we haven't we haven't done that lately. Um, so we'll focus, we'll take tomorrow off, and then we'll prepare for Bradley. I think it is next. Um, I made sure I found out who we played next in case you guys ask. And so we'll, we'll have to be really tough against Bradley because they are traditionally one of the toughest teams in the league. But that's all this stuff gets down to. That's our league. You know, that, that's just the bottom line. Okay, good. See you guys. Thanks.